As 2023 draws to a close, SpaceX is thriving with activity. Just yesterday, they accomplished a magical Falcon Heavy launch, propelling the USS F-X-37B space plane into orbit, an awe-inspiring feat. Merely hours after this milestone, the Falcon team continued their momentum with a successful Falcon 9 launch. And today brings more excitement with the anticipated static fire of B-10 at Starbase, Texas. The rhythm of their launches and tests is truly remarkable don't you think? In a recent event, SpaceX encountered a few hurdles before the triumphant launch, initially challenged by weather conditions and then facing a ground issue, the collaborative efforts of SpaceX and the Space Force persevered, culminating in the powerful Falcon Heavy rocket lifting the secretive X-37B orbital test vehicle into space on Thursday night. Curious to know more? Dive deeper into these thrilling SpaceX endeavors in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The recent Falcon Heavy launch, marking the fifth flight this year and the ninth overall, once again captivated enthusiasts and space aficionados alike. Each Falcon Heavy launch brings a unique and unforgettable experience, etching a lasting impression with its majestic flights. Let's take a moment to appreciate this stunning image captured by the talented John Kraus, depicting the spectacular Falcon Heavy launch of the X-37B space plane in perfect lunar alignment. Witnessing the power of 27 engines propelling the craft forward was truly mesmerizing. The graceful return of the two side boosters B-1064 and B-1065 added a touch of fiery synchrony as they descended back to landing zone 1 and 2 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Approximately eight and a half minutes after liftoff, those witnessing the launch firsthand might have been treated to the distinct sound of sonic booms as the boosters re-entered the atmosphere. Notably, these boosters have a remarkable history, having completed their fifth flight after supporting missions such as USSF-44, USSF-67, Jupiter-3, and Psyche. Their next mission, scheduled for October of 2024, is particularly exciting. They'll play a crucial role in launching NASA's Europa Clipper spacecraft to explore the Jovian moon bearing the same name. The journey and reuse of these boosters speak volumes about SpaceX's commitment to innovation and redefining the boundaries of space exploration. We have successfully landed both Falcon Heavy side boosters on landing zone one and landing zone two. With these two side boosters, this marks the 257th and 258th overall successful landing of an orbital class rocket. During today's Falcon Heavy launch, the central booster took its inaugural and final test, intentionally landing in the Atlantic Ocean post-launch. While recovery efforts have been made in past Falcon Heavy missions, the demands for these specific flights often mandate the center core's expendability to ensure mission success. Notably, SpaceX concluded its live stream of the Falcon Heavy launch at the U.S. Space Force's request before the X-37B space plane reached its designated orbit. Previously, this versatile spacecraft had been launched using both SpaceX's Falcon 9 vehicle and the Atlas V rocket, a product of United Launch Alliance, jointly owned by Lockheed Martin and Boeing. The Falcon Heavy's unparalleled thrust capabilities, surpassing both the Falcon 9 and Atlas V combined, hint at the potential for more ambitious destinations for the X-37B. Paul Graziani, CEO of of COMSPOC, or Comspoc, a space object tracking company, suggested the possibility of the X-37B being destined for more distant orbits, including the Moon or Mars. Should the X-37B venture deeper into space on this mission, tracking its whereabouts from Earth could pose significant challenges. Graziani highlighted the difficulty in locating the vehicle, especially if the military opts for strategies like hiding it in the glare of the sun or employing frequent position changes. The X-37B has demonstrated its maneuverability in space during previous flights, showcasing its ability to execute multiple orbital maneuvers. ComSpock, specializing in tracking satellites primarily in geosynchronous orbits situated approximately 22,400 miles or 36,000 kilometers from Earth, where many large communication satellites operate, expressed interest in locating the X-37B if it ventures into this orbital region. Graziani and Bob Hall, ComSpock's Director of Operations Integration, highlighted their company's focus on sensors dedicated to tracking satellites in geosynchronous orbit. I think it's one of the most interesting things that's happened in space in a long time, whatever it's going to do, Graziani said of the X-37B launch. Returning to SpaceX's latest achievements, USSF-52 marked the 95th successful orbital flight for the Falcon family in 2023, highlighting their consistent launch capabilities. Notably, this mission stands as the 8th SpaceX flight 
flight completed this month alone, demonstrating their incredible frequency and operational efficiency. Adding to their impressive accomplishments following the groundbreaking Falcon Heavy launch, SpaceX achieved a modern-day launch turnaround record by swiftly launching another Falcon 9 for the Starlink 6-36 mission. This remarkable feat essentially created a double-header spectacle as the year draws to a close. In a noteworthy event, the Falcon 9 rocket initiated the Starlink 6-36 mission from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, lifting off at 11.01 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. The pace at which SpaceX continues to execute successful missions, even amid such a high flight frequency, underscores their unparalleled commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. The staggering pace of SpaceX's recent missions is nothing short of remarkable. Notably, the two missions launched a mere 2 hours, 48 minutes, and 40 seconds apart, marking the fastest turnaround between orbital launches from Florida since the historic Agena Target Vehicle and Gemini 8 launches in 1966, which were separated by only 1 hour, 40 minutes, and 59 seconds. Adding to the recent successes, the latest Falcon 9 mission signifies the first flight since the return of the previously destroyed first stage booster, tail number 1058. SpaceX has been diligently enhancing boost to recovery methods such as the introduction of self-leveling landing legs aimed at ensuring safer and more reliable booster returns to port. Kiko Donchev from SpaceX highlighted this innovative approach, particularly focusing on protecting boosters during their return journeys. Moreover, the anticipation grows as SpaceX gears up for another meaningful event, the potential second attempt of the static fire of B-10. An alert announcement signals a SpaceX ground test scheduled from 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening, potentially paving the way for Booster 10 and Ship 28 to complete their individual pre-launch tests before the year concludes. The flurry of activity at SpaceX's facilities hints at an exciting conclusion to 2023 and sets the stage for what promises to be an amazing 2024. Here's to continued success and groundbreaking achievements in the new year. While SpaceX dominates headlines, it's essential to acknowledge NASA's impactful ventures this year, demonstrating the agency's unwavering commitment to pioneering missions and technological advancements. The Space Agency's recent video highlights a year filled with remarkable achievements spanning from the triumphant return of its first asteroid sample to plans for a revolutionary nuclear thermal rocket engine poised to facilitate future crewed missions to Mars. Integral to these strides is the progress within the Artemis program, aimed at re-establishing human presence on the lunar surface. Among the milestones, the International Space Station celebrated an impressive 25 years in orbit, coinciding with NASA astronaut Frank Rubio setting a new record for the longest U.S. spaceflight, spending an astounding 371 consecutive days aboard the orbiting lab. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope marked its inaugural year of scientific exploration by revealing an unprecedented image showing showcasing star formation within Earth's neighboring Rho Ophiuchi cloud complex, signaling the telescope's vast potential for scientific discoveries. September 24th marked a momentous moment as the OSIRIS-REx mission successfully returned a pristine sample of surface material from the asteroid Bennu to Earth, culminating its seven-year journey. Renamed Osiris Apex, the probe is now en route to another celestial body, Apophis. Though this time, no physical samples will be collected, the insights gained from this mission will shed light on our solar system's formation over four and a half billion years ago, offering invaluable knowledge. Notably, NASA's Psyche mission, launched on October 13th, is set to explore the metal-rich asteroid 16 Psyche, positioned between Mars and Jupiter. This unique asteroid's composition suggests it might be a partial core of a planetesimal, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of planet formation and evolution. The agency's commitment to lunar exploration is evident in the announcement of Artemis II's four slated astronauts. A strategic partnership with DARPA to develop a nuclear thermal rocket engine by 2027 and the unveiling of the spacesuit prototype by Axiom Space for NASA's Artemis III mission, slated to land astronauts on the moon by 2025. NASA's unwavering wavering dedication to space exploration transcends boundaries, uniting people worldwide and propelling humanity toward
toward the moon, Mars, and beyond. This collective endeavor embodies the unparalleled power and unity fostered by the space program. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up. Oh, and Happy New Year!